Welcome to Zen in a Moment, episode four with Zen Cryer DeBrook. So I want to encourage you today to not go looking for things that are broken about you or your life or anything else. What I've found is we often will go looking for something that's wrong and it's not the thing that's broken. I remember that when I was younger, everybody thought I was a super jealous person. All the time I was getting that I'm jealous, you're jealous, you need to work on jealousy. And I did. I didn't want to be that person. And so what happened was I kept working on it, but it wasn't, it, it, I wasn't getting anywhere. And then one day I was listening to an old time radio personnel person called Dr. Laura. And Dr. Laura was great. She was super practical and hard hitting. And she really like told people how it was. I loved her. And, uh, I think I even maybe imitate her style a little bit of, of soft, tough love, um, with my students. But she was talking to a woman about being insecure and listing all the things that insecurity brings into your relationships. And I suddenly hit me. It was like, that's how I feel. That's what's going on in my head that I'm insecure. And it turns out I wasn't jealous. I was insecure, which is completely different. Jealousy is about wanting to own someone. It's about power and control. Insecurity is about not feeling good enough. Feeling as if you're, you know, looking across the room. I, I think that my boyfriend talking to that girl was, uh, she was better for him than I was. And I would see things in her that I knew that he would like. It was very frustrating and painful. And then I turned it around. And I started building my self-esteem. And I started looking at that, those girls or people or friends or opportunities at work, you know, how someone was treated better than me at work or whatever. And I would start looking at what they're doing and then incorporating that as a, as a reflection in my mirror, incorporating that into who I was becoming. And it changed everything. And I don't have that anymore. A lot of times people are working on things they think are broken. I've had people come in and, and they're bulimic or, or anorexic. They have food issues. And it turns out that the food issue is not the issue. It's the stress that they're trying to relieve through that. There's all kinds of ways in which we have people tell us you're shy, you're this, you're, you know, you're the athlete, you're the, not the athlete, all these different things that happen. And people like to label us as broken and they don't know what they're talking about. Only you and your internal guidance system know. And if you have something in your life, that is something that you need to work on. It will open you. It will open you. So it doesn't, it feels like something you want to do. It feels like something you get to do. It, it's not a, a thing where you're, and the problem is, is if you work on something that's closing you, you're working on the wrong thing, but you feel like crap about it. You feel awful. You're like, ah, you'd beat yourself up. There's shame. There's, here's this thing again. And I can tell you from experience, a lot of people do this. They work on the wrong thing. So how do you work on yourself? It's already in your face. The thing that's up, the, the gnawing repeated conversation about a coworker in a conversation that you should have said this, or I should have said that, or how dare they or this and defending your, your case in throughout the day when you're not even really talking to them, your triggers, the things that are up for you that are really triggering you about your mate or your kids or yourself, right? The stuff that's in your mirror is the stuff that's in the way. And so all you have to do is take what's in your face and work with that one thing and work with it well, because the universe gives you the next thing that's in the way from you, for you and your purpose and your life's blueprint and your path. It doesn't just willy nilly throw a bunch of garbage at you. You actually attract the thing that you next need to work on. You don't have to worry about looking for what's broken. It's already there. And you get to work on it. And the other cool thing is that it wouldn't be there unless you were ready and able to handle it, unless you were competent to handle it. So don't look for where you're broken and look. The other thing is, is if you have any stress, anxiety, worry, fear about the things you think are wrong with you, that is closing. That means that it is not true or not going to happen all the time. So look at the things that you think are wrong with you. And if you have any of those tension or tightness closing in your body, that means those things are not wrong with you. And instead, take the next thing that's in your mirror, the next thing that's triggering you right there. And that is what you're supposed to be working on to get to the next level. I encourage you to join me if you haven't in Smart Soul Academy. It's only $47 a month for all of these programs. All this information's there. I walk you through how to handle all these triggers and what to do with them in the moment so that they release and they're, you're on to the next thing. For $97, you get 
up to five coaching sessions, group coaching sessions with me every month. So you can come and bring the things to me and we can work through them. And it's very fast, very quick. And you leave with a big opening and a, and a trajectory of where to follow. All right, darlings, I hope you have the best day ever. Remember, I am sending you love and blessings. <laughs>